How many times do we have a chance to go back and play one of those guitars from our past? Not many, unless you sell it to a friend or something like that. Today, I'm gonna show you the first guitar I ever bought. Now, I think it was about 15 years ago, I gave this guitar to my little sister because she was trying to learn how to play and it was kind of just sitting back at my parents' place untouched. I had the JV and I didn't really need another guitar, so I let her have it. So fast forward to present day, that guitar was pretty much basically right where I left it when I gave it to her at my parents' house, kind of rotting away. And when we were going to do the move, we were talking about things that I would like them to bring on the first trip because they drove down from New York to Florida. And I said, this would be a good one to bring. So without further ado, this is Azul. My blue 1999 Squire Stratocaster. Now this guitar looks like it's in pretty decent shape, right? Let me show you what it looked like when I got it. This thing is beaten to shit. Horrible, look at the headstock. I don't know. I let my little sister borrow it for a little while and she, uh, I guess she's not very good at taking care of things. So I'm gonna see if I can bring it back to life. Now, Gorgomite is the greatest thing in the whole world. Better than lemon oil, because it'll do the frets really well too. On top, Conditioning the fretboard. Looks so much better. Look at that soldering job. Incredible. The USA pot's not gonna fit. I actually thought I replaced this pick guard because those pickups are actually American standards. I bought them used when I was working at a music store in New York many years ago. I could have sworn I replaced the pick guard too, but I didn't. So the pots I have are not gonna fit. We're gonna have to order a new pick guard. Now after shooting that, I went through a toolbox that my dad also brought down with a bunch of my old tools in it. I found uh, a Dremel and I was able to keep the original pick guard. Obviously I had to replace the control knobs because import spec, not the same as American CTS, but the guitar now, Good. Now believe me, I would tell you if I thought this thing was a piece of garbage. I really would, but it's not. This guitar is pretty decent. It plays really, really well. The string tension feels a lot looser than the JV strap. I don't know why that is. Again, string tension, same tuning, same scale length. Just magic, I suppose. But this guitar does have one major issue, and that is one of the obvious ones. When you have a cheaper, older Squire, or even some of the newer ones, quite honestly, doesn't stay in tune that great. This one, it's glaringly the tuners in the nut. I do have a new nut that I can put into it once everything shows up uh, with my wife in the car tomorrow, hopefully, along with the rest of the guitars. So on the next string change, I'm gonna get some tuners for it and a nut. 
not going to be done with it. This guitar is pretty solid. I have to admit, I'm very impressed. I did not think I would like it uh, after all these years and after playing all these high-end guitars. And it goes a little bit beyond the nostalgia and the sentimental value. This genuinely plays really nice. I'm very impressed. And I suppose this is a testament to me having hoarders for parents. Stuff like this, a lot of other people might have just gotten rid of, sold it off at a garage sale, passed it on. Nope, not my family. Just sitting in a basement somewhere collecting dust. And well now, doesn't need to. I'm gonna pass this on to my daughter. And you know, I think the Jaguar is a little bit too awkward and heavy for my, my kid to really sit and play with right now. She struggles with it. This is about a pound and a half less, so this might be a much easier way for her to really get into playing guitar, and I look forward to that. But that's gonna wrap up the first of the Nostalgia Week videos. Obviously, I got the one on the music band that's gonna come later this week. I'm very happy. I'm very, very, very happy. I'm very fortunate that, you know, I was able to get this guitar back. So, if you like what I'm doing, please leave me a like. Subscribe if you have not. I see your comments. I can tell now when you're subscribed. No, I'm old. It took me a little bit to figure that out. So please hit that button if you are regular here. I really do appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you ever go went back and got to play your first guitar. Or if you still have it. What do you think of it compared to what you have now? Or is it still your main guitar? Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow for another guitar-related video. Take care.